meaningful ways individuals can put pressure on corporations to solve the climate crisis. While the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change report concludes that humans are unequivocally the cause of the crisis, climate experts say the onus of solving it should not rest on individuals' shoulders. Yuri Rogelch, a lead author for the UN report's chapter on global carbon cycles, says the world requires rapid change on a big scale to avoid catastrophic impacts. Climate change is no longer a far-off threat with nebulous outcomes. It's fueling deadly wildfires that are scorching entire towns severe flooding and unrelenting drought that pits communities against each other. As climate anxiety runs high, Rogelge said there are meaningful ways individuals can put pressure on corporations and policymakers to make rapid, stringent cuts on planet heating emissions. If you have savings, you can reach out to your community and put them in more environmentally friendly goals Rogelge said. You can also talk to your decision makers and let them know that this is an issue that you care about by writing them letters. Lisa DeVille an indigenous environmental activist from North Dakota, has long leveraged environmental policies to rally her community and participate in public comment hearings about polluting infrastructure. If the climate crisis feels overwhelming, engage in the political process, she said. It's good to hear international scientists echo in what most of us can see with our own eyes, DeVille said. Climate change is real and that it's hurting people in our planet right now today. Ultimately, Big businesses in the fossil fuel industry need to be held accountable, according to Rogelch. Corporate change took the form of ousted board members this summer when activist shareholders replaced three people on ExxonMobil's board. For the first time in modern history, America's largest oil company faced a credible challenge from an activist hedge fund, Engine No. 1, which was displeased with Exxon's financial performance and what it saw as the company's foot dragging on climate. The vote was a major milestone in the climate battle. The engine no. One campaign was the first proxy campaign at a major U.S. company in which the case for change was built around the shift away from fossil fuels. The climate crisis poses an existential threat to Exxon, when climate activists argue the company hasn't taken seriously enough. The big oil company has deployed big tobacco-like propaganda for decades in an effort to downplay the gravity of the climate crisis shifting the blame to its consumers and protecting its own interests, according to a Harvard University study published earlier this year that used machine learning and algorithms to uncover trends in more than 200 public and internal Exxon documents between 1972 and 2019. The Harvard study, Exxon added at the time, is clearly part of a litigation strategy against ExxonMobil and other energy companies. Months before the IPCC report was released, the International Energy Agency warned the world it needs to immediately stop drilling for oil and gas to prevent a climate catastrophe. The IEA report nudged companies toward renewables and urged milestones that included immediately stopping new gas and oil projects, halting the sale of new fossil fuel boilers starting in 2025 and increasing electric vehicle sales to at least 60% by 2030. The IEA also pointed to the economic benefits of focusing on climate change emphasizing that the annual energy investment would surge to $5 trillion by 2030 from $2.3 trillion in recent years, adding 0.4 percentage points to global GDP growth. As the focus turns to the world's main greenhouse gas emitters, industrial sectors like agriculture or oil and gas, climate activists are pushing against the idea of individual actions like recycling or eating less meat. We need to stop blaming ourselves and start holding the fossil fuel industry accountable for decades of disinformation and political sabotage. Jamie Han, director of Fossil Free Media, a non-profit media organization dedicated to the climate crisis. The concept of an individual having a carbon footprint has been emphasized in marketing campaigns designed for BP, for example, to maintain BP's image on climate change in China. In a 2007-2008 document, advertising company Ogilvy summarized the campaign, BP aims to be seen as an environmentally responsible company and supports efforts to reduce China's climate change impact. Encouraging environmental education among Chinese people is also a priority for BP. Ogilvy also noted that, at the time, there had been over 500,000 visits to the website with 400,000 people clicking to calculate their carbon footprint. Lopez Nunez's organization has engaged with policymakers on pollution issues stemming from the local trash incinerator. The Covanca Essex incinerator in Newark burns nearly 985,000 tons of trash each year, according to the company. 
incinerators, which were created due to limited space in landfills, being that greenhouse gas and can aerosolize other hazardous pollutants such as mercury and weed. Lopez Nunez says if you want to take meaningful action on the climate crisis, do some homework on the groups active in your area. Find frontline organizations that are in neighborhood, not just the big organizations, said Lopez Nunez. When you don't know what's going on, go find the people that know the issues of your neighborhood, of your cities, of your state. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.